Hello everyone. Today is the second day of uh, presentation season three. Uh, myself, Trusty Joshi, and today's uh, presentation topic uh, is exploring the central theme of communal rights in final solution. This is my personal information. So these are some points to ponder, which I am going to discuss in today's presentation. First is introduction of author and play. According to M. Uh, Sri Mala, uh, uh, who is born uh, in 1958, is the most influential and uh, impressive dramatist in the contemporary Indian English drama, dramatic arena. So he was a prominent writer and uh, 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 he was also a director of uh, Final Solution movie. And the scenarios of Indian drama has transformed with his skills and innovative techniques. He has penned several dramas which point out diverse social con uh, controversies. So uh, Mahesh Dattani's uh, plays are uh, mostly focused on the themes like uh, uh, gender biases, uh, sexuality, women and also the communal, uh, communal rights. Uh, these are some of his famous themes. Uh, Final Solution is the fifth play of Mahesh Dattani. It was a stage after the Mumbai riots. The play draws to light the communal uh, rights between the Hindus and Muslims. According to Uma Devi, Dattani's final solution is a three-act play which handles the theme of communal rights and forced resentments. It was first performed at Guru Nanak Bhavan, Bangalore on 10th July 1993. In India, the coexistence of multi-religion and multiculture has been a curious topic for the world. Uh, this play also performs several times, but the confrontation of Hindus and Muslims has been a dynamic issues more than the other religions to each other. The play opens with two Muslim young boys, Bobby and Javed. So this play started with some uh, uh, chorus and uh, other things. And then uh, we introduced by two young boys, uh, Bobby and Javed. They were Muslim boys and they were uh, seeking for the shelter in uh, Hindu's house. And uh, they were uh, taking a shelter in the uh, house of uh, Gandhi's. And after that, with the entry of two Muslim young boys within the house, the family's drama began. After they enter in the house, the family drama begins, like there were uh, so many conversations going on. Here, the different religion, cultures, food habits, attitudes, uh, re uh, reassessment of each other, personal vines and uh, psyche confronts each other. The Tani takes the opportunity to move free into the time and closely structurize all such rights in the past and the influence to shop, shape character and communities. The play unfolded itself with Daksha. So uh, this uh, is also a prominent uh, character of this play, Daksha, uh, a 15-year-old young bride. Reading her diary, Daksha transforms to Hadika in her old age. So in this play, there were uh, two characters like Daksha and uh, Hadika. They both are the same person. One is showing the character of 15-year-old, 15-year uh, young bride, and one is a, a young uh, one is older version of uh, uh, Daksha. Daksha uh, slash Hadika may be called the hand of Muslim majority. She is the grandmother of Gandhi's. Daksha is hostile towards uh, a Muslim because her father was killed in a communal riots. So uh, Daksha has some uh, biases or we can say her uh, some uh, problem with Muslim community because her uh, father was died in the, some uh, communal riots. And she also overtues of friendship with Zarin, a young Muslim girl. Her family comprised of Ramnik Gandhi, her son, a Ribrat. Aruna, her daughter-in-law, a devout Hindu, who is highly uh, superstitious, and her granddaughter, Smita. So Smita is a character uh, who plays a dynamic of new generation. Central theme of play, as you know, that central theme of this play is the communal rights and Hindu-Muslim uh, host uh, hostility. Mahesh Dattani explores some possibility for solution to the problem of communal separation in the play and ultimately suggests some remedies in this regard. 
uh, the dramatists feel that liberal outlook with pacific approaches and respect for one another's beliefs, mutual trust and sharing of pleasures and pains can help in overcoming the man-made separation the individual will be threatened as a human being and not as a Hindu or Muslim. So this is the historical background of play. So this play is also published in 1993. And in 1993, there were one uh, Bombay riots were going on. And this riot was uh, also uh, uh, becoming the riots of uh, communal riots. Like since the Mumbai has seen many more terror attacks and every time an attack has taken place through so notion and Davis have only reformed. So this uh, Bombay riots were uh, caused by the Muslim and Hindu riots because uh, some uh, uh, attack were uh, bombed were attacked in the uh, bomb blasts were attacked by Hindu and Muslim in the Mumbai life lived in different parts of city like uh, some parts of uh, some hotels and stock exchange of Bombay stock exchange and Air, uh, Air India building. So there are some parts where bombed were attacked and this historical background of Play is also the same, the communal rights. Communal rights in final solution. According to Bhagyashri uh, Verma, the play uh, successfully highlighted human limitation, uh, egocentricity, and opportunistic uh, inclination. The issue of class, communities, and the clashes between tradition and modern life, style and value system, along with the complexities about minorities, are not restricted to only Hindus and Muslims. But these are, in fact, issues of humanity in different contexts of situation. It takes, uh, it talks of the problem of culture supremacy, how Hindus had to un undergo traumatic experience at the heart of Muslim majority. So in the play, there were also a two sides of uh, 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 problems were there. According to Dr. R. Devanand, the role of chorus is quite significant here. Chorus changes the mask, uh, mask whenever the occasion demands. But ironically, the actors of the chorus remain the same. The chorus links the play with the idea of dramatic development, the notion of collaborating identity and uh, manufacturing of collective concept. So this is some uh, dialogues uh, which were taken from the original play, uh, um, uh, Final Solutions. Mahesh Dattani portrays such incidents showing the Hindu and Muslim bias. When Hindu mob discuss against Muslim mob that, Hindu mob chorus, chorus one, two, three. Uh, this is our land, how dare they? Chorus one, it is in their blood. Chorus two and three, it is in their blood to destroy. So they were talking about Muslims. Final solution refers to the Rath Yatra, which prompts, uh, prompts communal riots and violence between two, two religious groups. While conducting Rath Ratya festival, the ideal of go travel on a chariot, uh, rumors created gossip against Muslims. So uh, here is the chorus of Muslim. They were talking about this Rath Yatra and attacked on the Hindu uh, Pujari. Their chariot fell in our street. Was the chariot built by us? Chorus 4, manufacturing defect. Chorus all, we are neither idol maker nor breaker. Chorus 5, but they blamed us. Chorus 3, they say we raised their temple yesterday. According to S.T. Uh, Priya, the play shows that the cause of two caste hatred is not only due to disbelief, but also it is the return of economy. Zarin's father collected his community people only when his shop, uh, his shop was burnt. In the beginning, he wants to real price of his shop. So Zarin's father has a uh, he uh, he owned the shop, and this uh, uh, this Gandhi family uh, who burnt their shop and uh, uh, buy that in a low price. And in the end of the play. When uh, Ramnik Gandhi was telling uh, Daksha or uh, Shlesh Hadika that I caught and we burnt it, they had burnt in the name of communal hatred. It shows the mentally that the I are somewhere different, but the mob is ignorance. Do the work differently. So uh, in the end, we can see the how uh, we can see how this uh, Ramnik was having the grief. Hindu Muslim chorus depicts the reality. The violence made by the devotees is religious people, but violence affected ordinary people's life.
Abhijit Pawar rightly observed that final solution has a powerful contemporary resonance as it addresses as an issue of utmost concern to our society and issues of communalism. The play presents different shades of communities, attitudes prevalent among Hindus and Muslims. In its attempt to underline the stereotypes and the cliché influence the collective sensibility of community against other. Thus, final solution highlights on the problem of communal violence, communal tensions between the Hindus and Muslims in India. As uh, Gayatri also mentioned early, earlier in he, uh, her presentation, like there were so many riots going on in the India or in Gujarat as well. So uh, this is also a part of uh, that. And uh, Mahesh Dattani was the uh, prominent writer who talked about these riots and these things. So this slide is uh, focused on the question, will there ever be a final solution? So according to uh, uh, Dasharath Gate, uh, I was also um, uh, agree, I, I will also agree with this person. Like he was questioning that now the question that stars uh, stare at us is, can there be a solution to this large, larger than a life problem of communal divide and hostility, which we are facing till today? So as we all know, there were uh, so many riots going on in today's time as well. So there is, uh, this question is still remaining. Is there any final solution of this? So we can say that, no, there is no final solution. One reality cannot accept another reality. We'll remain pointless. Smita, Bobby, and Rami make the plea that we need to belong to all the creation of Almighty and be concerned about the pain and pleasure, trails and tribunage, aims and aspirations of all the mankind with, without any selective or racial of communal grounds. So uh, in this Hadika, Aruna, or Javed, the we, then we hope a new pattern based on human qualities will emerge and this will, uh, as Bobby suggests, pave the path of the final solution. So Bobby said in this uh, play, I quote, the tragedy is that there is too much that is scared. So, but if we understand and believe in the one another, nothing can be destroyed. Puts on his footwear and looks at Hadika. And if you are willing to forget, I will, I am willing to tolerate. So this is the uh, Bobby's uh, statement. Uh, so uh, I also cited this uh, Rakesh Sharma's uh, documentary, which is also named as a final solution. And this documentary is based on Gujarat uh, Godra Kand, or we can say a Godra riots, which were happened in 2002, 2003. Filmmaker uh, Rakesh Sharma released his award-winning documentary Final Solution uh, uh, in 2004 on a Vimo. Originally released in 2004, the Shar uh, film documents the communal violence the end that broke out in Gujarat during 2002 and 2003. So this movie was initially banned in India in 2004 for fear that it might provoke communalism and radicalism. The ban was lifted in October 2004 after the sustained campaign which include an open pe a petition, hundreds of protect, uh, protect, uh, protest screening countrywide, multi-city sign uh, signature campaign and dozen of letters to the government sent by audience directly. So this documentary is uh, now available on YouTube and also the Rakesh Sharma has its own website and uh, there are two parts of this documentary and you can uh, go and watch that as well. And uh, uh, this was also banned, but uh, after uh, audience's demand, they uh, lifted the bane of this uh, documentary. So these are some uh, today's relevance of uh, final solution, like uh, there were also communal rights. So in today's time, there were several rights and some past rights as well, like Manipur rights is going on. On 3 May uh, 2020, through the ethnic uh, ethnic violence erupted in India's northeastern state of Manipur between the Maiti people, uh, who is a majority who are uh, living in Imphal Valley, and Kukiozo uh, tribal community who are living in surrounding hills. So there were uh, uh, also riots of that, and 2022 Gujarat riot, 
and uh, uh, this riot nua riots of haryana which is still going on on 31st july 2023 communal violence erupted in the nua district of haryana between muslims and hindu during an annual uh, bridge mandal yatra pilgrims uh, organized by the vishwa hindu parishad a hindu nationalist organized so cause of this uh, riots was like uh, one person who is also a dealer of cow and other things and the, uh, he was attending this rath yatra and because of that uh, the community uh, 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 violence were uh, going on and they attacked on the rath yatra so same uh, issue was uh, like in final solution they were uh, community were attending uh, attacking on this rath yatra this bombay riots as i also uh, mentioned earlier uh, earlier that 1992 and 1993 were this 900 people died the riots were mainly due to explanation of hostiles after large scale of protest by muslim in reaction to the 1992 babri masjid demolition by hindu so uh, this was uh, some riots which were in past and which also relevant in uh, today's time conclusion in conclusion final solution by mahesh dattani is a thought provoking theory, uh, theory, uh, theoretical work that effectively shine a spotlight on the central theme of communal rights the plays portrayal of complex character caught in the web of religion and communal tensions serves as a compound mirror uh, to the real world as also we seen in last slide as we reflect on the central theme of communal rights in final solution we are reminding of enduring relevance of addressing such conflict in our society the play encourage us to confront the challenges of religious intolerance prejudice and hatred urging us to strive for greater understanding and humanity and unity as well in this context uh, final solution stands as a powerful testament to the importance of promoting peace empathy and communal harmony in our diverse and multicultural world emphasizing the that the ultimate solution lies in fostering a more inclusive and harmonious uh, society so uh, in final solution uh, as we know that there were no uh, final solution were discussed but though we can uh, have a peaceful life uh, with unity and uh, humanity so these are some references which i have used in this presentation thank you uh, now i am open for question if you have any question then you can ask Just as the title suggests, how does the play "Final Solution" provide a solution for a communal difference and outrage? Okay. So as I also said in my presentation that there is no final solution for given in uh, given in this uh, play. Like uh, uh, Mahesh Dattani was also talking about this uh, 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 Bobby and Javed. So there were also differences in their character as well. Like Javed was very aggressive because of uh, his uh, whole thing of uh, mind wash, brain wash, and everything. And Bobby was intellectual and understanding uh, person. he was also trying to convince him and another character uh, uh, like gandhi ramay gandhi who is also a, a, a liberal person but uh, in the very sense we all know that he was uh, suffering from guilt of his uh, uh, father and his grandfather so yeah that's the thing and also the uh, uh, title final solution uh, uh, if you see the page uh, or we can say a front page of this uh, book you will find that uh, on the final solution there is a, a no mark so yeah there is no final solution uh, of this thank you i hope you are satisfied with my answer just my question is uh, how does the play final solution uh, delve into the personal after personal aftermath of communal rights on an individual's life uh so uh, as i said that this daksha and hadika this uh, character uh, she was suffering from the uh, like his mind were very sorry her mind is very uh, uh, like sh she has a grief or we can say she has very deep uh, 
we can say a manipulation or we can say his uh, sorry her biases were towards this muslim community is because of uh, her father died in communal rights of this uh, hindu and muslim so because of that she was also suffering from uh, this thing and other uh, characters were also suffering from such things like smita also has something but she has a, a idea of a today's generation like she doesn't care about this riots and other things and this smita uh, sorry yeah aruna aruna who is the mother of smita she is very spiritual and uh, she also believe in such things but uh, after uh, incident will happen like uh, this bobby were taking god in uh, his hand and saying things so yeah that's the uh, individuals uh, personality were changed uh, during this communal rights were going on. thank you so much